there are organizations willing to come in and find a way to save the Right, fish. right. So the problem is SUNY's trying to beat the clock. They're trying to shut it down before that can happen so they can sell off this very valuable real estate for the benefit of SUNY, not for the benefit of the community. So the bottom line is it's not good enough for SUNY to say that they're following the letter of the law. We need them to actually work with us to find a solution to save this hospital. Is there a date for that sustainability? Guns and all. No, no, sorry, closure plan. Closure plan. They resubmitted the closure plan. Closure, closure plan. plan that the court in March said was not appropriate. Even though they've admitted there's been interest from other organizations to come in and take this hospital over, they're still going full speed ahead with the closure. That's unacceptable. Do they have no deadline of, oh, so they need to figure it out by, because I know it was July 15th. Let's be very clear. SUNY Lyft cannot close the hospital just because they want to. That's not how state law works. There's a TRO in effect. They need to and regard, you, you the state health department would need to approve any clo closure or shutting of services Sorry. at this hospital. Anything closed down without that approval is a violation of state law. So what we think they're doing is trying to achieve it in place. In other words, if they starve the hospital out of existence, right, right, right. they will claim to have not broken the law, but in effect they'll achieve the same thing. Practically speaking, it will be a closure. That's why we have to stop it now. That's why there's urgency today. Because the report we got today is within 24 hours, there will be no patients left. It's hard to have a hospital without patients. It's hard to have a hospital if no new patients are being allowed in the door. And that's what we fear is going on here. Any other questions on this? Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, guys.